Hi, I'm Andy with The Chord Teacher, and I would love to show you how to play chords on piano and guitar and how to find the notes with The Chord Teacher. Our sheet music has the different chords written above the music. So somebody trying to learn some songs, most of the chords we already know, but say we come up to, against the chords that we don't know or aren't familiar with. Say, for instance, we have a D with an M6 or an A with a 7 or A with an M7. Well, what are the different notes that make up those chords and where do we find them on our guitar and where do we find them on our keyboard? So with our chord teacher, you can set this on a piano and line the black and white notes up or flip it over and slide it down underneath the strings of the guitar and here's all of the car guitar frets, strings, and the notes are all labeled at the intersections of the notes and the strings. So the first chord in the song there was D with a little M6, and the M6 is right here. So we're gonna take this dial and we're gonna spin the root around until we get our root at D, and then the notes in D minor six are D, F, A, and B. So if we have this on our piano, the notes D, F, A, B are right here, and it's D, F, A, B. Shows you precisely where to put your fingers to make the chord. Now, for guitarists, the easiest guitar chord that we all start out with is the chord E minor. All of the minors are on this dial here and it's going to say E with a little M, so by putting our root note at E, this tells us the notes are E, G, and B in the chord. And then on our piano, we're going to find those notes E, G, B is here. E, G, B is here. And with the inversions, it would be here. Now most guitarists are playing E minor by grabbing these two strings here and just strumming away. But where else can we play E minor on our guitar strings? So knowing that the notes are E, G, and B in the chord, and if we slide this underneath the guitar strings, anywhere that we can find an E, a G, B, for instance, is here, and is here, and here, and here, and here, all up and down the guitar, so guitar necks. So anywhere you can find an E, G, and B, you can play that E minor all up and down and all of the inversions in the chord. So for instance, everybody plays E minor here. But we can also play E minor by playing it here. And here. here and anywhere else you can find an E, a G, a B, anywhere up and down your guitar neck. So the chord teacher simply makes 144 different chords but because the chords can be played in more than one position the chord teacher makes 504 different chord combinations that can play, be played all up and down the guitar neck giving you thousands of different inversions on the chord. We also have chord teachers for bass guitar also. So here's the six, or excuse me, the four strings for the bass and where all of the bass notes are. And you do that with any one of the key signatures. This is a great way to learn how to play all of the notes of all of the chords of all of your favorite songs. It makes it fun and easy and fast to learn.